Now to a celebrity getting her kid off for a good cause. In this exclusive interview, Kate Sobrano tells Linda Kincaid how the push for real models is gaining momentum. She's the pin-up girl for the curvaceous woman. Confident, sexy, self-assured. She's a little bit rock chick. She's very sexy. And I just really wanted to capture that. Kate sort of Sobrano of is happily losing the layers in her new job offering fuller-sized women the, the perfect role model. In order to be able to be free with your body, you must first understand what your body is and enjoy parts of it. As the ambassador of Belly's new underwear range curves, defrocking was a little nerve-wracking. Terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be actually willing to confront and face your own image and it's a therapy in itself. The mother of one was in good hands. Jez Smith is the star photographer from How to Make Me a Supermodel. Yeah. Shooting bras is all about sex appeal, you know, and making women feel good about themselves. You've had so much success in your music career. Why do you personally branch out and do something like this? It's all your fault <laughs> because I was on a show on your channel, which was Dancing with the Stars, which may have given me an a surreal sense of self-confidence. <laughs> I mean, upside down on national television in your knickers gives you a concept. Well, maybe, you know, women of all different uh, sizes should be represented. Today, teaming up with international plus-size model Laura Wells, the new range was launched in Maya. Self-acceptance goes a long way to leading a healthy lifestyle. Have you ever had any issues with your curves? Yeah, definitely when I was younger, the kind of stereotype that the smaller body image was the most beautiful and I was always a size 14. In an Australian first, her body has been used as the inspiration behind a new 16D sized mannequin. This is her in this, in this wonderful form and yes, it's a brand new moment. This is breaking news. <laughs> It reflects the average Australian woman. It's a far cry from the current size 10 mannequins in store. This is the majority of women in Australia walking in with a C or D and above cup going, hey, that kind of looks like me. Yeah. Is it pretty um, flattering to think that a mannequin's been carved out based on your body? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's, it's unreal. I wouldn't think it would ever happen to me, but um, it's perfect. And if I can help the general public learn to accept themselves. Burley brand manager Sally Berkeley believes this is the way of the future for fashion. It's not healthy to be representing undersized women um, as aspiration. So <laughs> what, what is your best asset? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My ears. <laughs> if you believe that, you'll believe anything. If other people admire other parts of my anatomy, I'm OK with that too. <laughs> and in another first, Melbourne Spring Fashion Week have opened up the casting call to women of all sizes. I'm hoping to find some great size 12s, 14s and even 16s. Hundreds of women are vying for a position on the catwalk. 15-year-old Paige Kelly is through to the next round. We're constantly comparing ourselves to supermodels and, you know, people who have been airbrushed and photoshopped and everything, but I think it's really great to have a variety of girls and guys. Lucy McIntosh is the face of Fashion Week. This is where we're going to be going from now on, I think. Love yourself and find something about yourself that you can enhance and enjoy and and amplify and go out and shake your booty. <laughs> <laughs> she's great fun, isn't she? And Kate is busy as always. She's also working on a brand new album for new mums. Stay with us. Here's what's coming up.